Hey, good morning, people. Monday, February the 1st, 2021. Good morning to all of you. Cheers. Let's go. Ah, yeah, I got out my little uh, snow, snow baby uh, shoveling snow winter cup. Coffee cup out. In honor of the winter wonderland tundra that we have coming in over here in central Pennsylvania. We're supposed to get anywhere up to and including and maybe over 18 inches of snow between today and tomorrow with a, a mix of sleet and freezing rain. So if you're in this area, be very careful if you got to be driving. And if you don't have to go out, don't go out. I got some of my winter garb on, as you can see. I got this old beanie from years and years ago. I don't even know if they're still in business, to be honest with you. Um, I was out there. I, I had a shovel, uh, a little bit of snow last night on my uh, side porch here and sidewalk. So uh, Sir Prince could uh, uh, shuffle on down and, and do his thing, you know. <laughs> And then I uh, shoveled a little bit this morning also. Not that it's going to matter because it's going to load back up all over again anyway, but just to make it a little bit safer for my fur baby. And of course, the old guy here, you know? Anyway, let's get on with it. Uh, as I said, today is February the 1st, and I'm getting parched. So let me put down a little bit of caffeine, and you do the same. Come on. Uh, it's snowing out there again. It uh, it slacked off a little bit here uh, a little while ago, but now it's snowing again and uh, big snowflakes right now. But that's what it's all about over here in central Pennsylvania, you know? <laughs> What's it like in your neck of the woods? Uh, birthdays today. Lisa Marie Presley's birthday is today. The one and only daughter of Elvis, Aaron Presley. Uh, Lisa Marie is 53 years young today. Happy birthday, uh, Lisa Marie. And she was married to uh, four gentlemen, but the most important one that made all the tabloids was when she married uh, Michael Jackson. Uh, let's see. Uh, she is a singer and a songwriter, and she does a little bit of acting, I guess. Her net worth right now is 16 million dollars and she is the sole owner of the heirs of Elvis Presley if that makes any sense to you another birthday today is Garrett Morris from Saturday Night Live God bless you Garrett happy birthday 84 years young today he's a comedian he's an actor and a singer and uh, he was on Saturday Night Live from 1975 until 1980. And his net worth, which surprised me a lot here, you know, um, is only $500,000. And I double-checked that, and I thought, man, really? You know, I don't know. You know, that just sounds really, really low for uh, uh, an actor that, uh, singer, songwriter, that uh, was on Saturday Night Live, one of the original members, let's say, or close to, uh, from 1975 until 1980. You know, he only has $500,000. Um, I don't know. What can I say? Today is National Freedom Day. <laughs> yes, it is, and I'll get back to that in a minute. Let's do a three-day weather forecast for... Uh, uh, Garrett Morris, uh, he was born in New Orleans, Louisiana, but uh, Lisa Marie Presley, she was born in where else? Memphis, Tennessee. So we'll do a three-day weather forecast for Memphis, Tennessee and see what's happening over there uh, today, Monday. 43 for a high, 30 for a low, and partly cloudy. Tuesday in Memphis, 45 for a high, 
29 for a low and partly cloudy again. Wednesday in Memphis, 53 for a high, 41 for a low, and mostly sunny. Now, let's come on over here into my neck of the woods for right now. Tower City, Pennsylvania. Monday, today, temperatures about 30 degrees. The low was 27. And uh, they're figuring on us getting from this snowstorm just today, they're saying. 12 to 18 inches of snow with sleet and freezing rain. Tuesday, in Tower City, 31 for a high, 26 for a low, and a 60% chance of snow. But uh, I'm thinking the 12 to 18 inches will be a combination for Monday and Tuesday. We'll see what happens here. Wednesday in Tower City, 34 for a high, 22 for a low, and partly cloudy. That's all I have in three-day weather forecast. Let me turn that up a little bit. Great song. I'm playing all instrumentals right now of A Whiter Shade of Pale. Great, great music right there. Huh. My humble opinion. All right. Uh, that's all I have for today, ladies and gentlemen. I hope all of you uh, stay warm and stay healthy today. Uh, if you're in the middle of this uh, snowy cluster F... Do yourself a favor, stay in the house, you know, don't do any traveling if you don't have to, you know, and gentlemen, ladies, if you got to go out there and do shoveling like I did, shovel a little bit, take a break, shovel a little bit, take a break, don't just hammer it right down because that can cause a heart attack or a stroke, remember that, okay? <laughs> ah, okay, uh, for breakfast today. Here's one for you. If you're uh, looking uh, what you want to do for breakfast, I'm going to make something that my, my dear old mom used to make for us when we were kids. And uh, she called it an egg in a hole. I'm sure people out there kind of have an idea where I'm going with this, but they've called it different names, a, a bird's nest or something like that. I don't know. But you take a, a piece of bread... Uh, and it can be white bread, rye bread, wheat bread, whatever you want. Take a take a hunk of bread, and in the center of it, just uh, take out enough of the the dough or the breading where you can crack an egg in it. Now you don't want to break the the yolk, okay? Uh, warm up your frying pan or skillet, whatever you got, uh, and. Uh, Warm it up to as if you were going to fry an egg. And, you know, grease it down a little bit. Butter, oil, whatever you like. Uh, put your piece of bread in there first. And flip it around to get it somewhat of a, almost a golden brown. You don't want to overdo it, all right? Then once it's a, a nice golden over brown, uh, brown. Oh, and as you're flipping it, uh, take a little bit of salt and pepper. You know, season up your hunk of bread. Flip it, and then crack your egg inside the hole of the bread, all right? And, you know, let it cook that way for a few minutes, maybe, depending on how you like your egg. I like my egg kind of like once over, you know? So I'll flip it. Now, when I flip it, this side that's up from flipping it, it'll be a nice uh, toasted golden brown. And it'll do the same on the other side. And hopefully you're not cracking the yolk. Okay. And then uh, when you flip it on the other side, if you like it like I do, uh, like I said, uh, you know, once over easy, just uh, maybe a minute or a little bit longer than that, just to, you know, um, cook up the, the egg, if you want to say that. All right. Then take your uh, sc uh, spatula, plastic, I'm assuming, Pull it out, flip it out on your plate, and there's your uh, breakfast. And if you want, you can have your breakfast at lunch or dinner. I do that a lot also, you know, every now and then. But I think that's what I'm going to have. And like I said, my mom always called it an egg in a hole. Try it out if you like it. Uh, you know, send me uh, your reviews on it. 
If you have other ways of making it and what you like to do with it, send that to me also. You know, I'm always looking for different experimental ways to, to do this kind of stuff. Okay? All right, folks. And as I said, today is National Freedom Day. All right? Unfortunately, we're losing our freedom a lot, one day at a time. You know, hopefully we'll get all this straightened out and we won't lose any more freedom than what we have already lost. So, uh, have a great day today. Stay healthy and safe, my friends. Cheers, Nastrovia Lakhaim. Let's go, let's put it down. Ah, good Starbucks, I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, guys, ladies, take care. To my family and friends out there and acquaintances, uh, I love you guys. Take care of one another. Thank you, God, for another day on earth. Pray to your God for peace on earth. All right? Be kind to one another. Help one another out if you can. And remember, we are not guaranteed tomorrow. So be good to one another. I'll talk to you later on. I'm going to punch you out on three. Good morning, Lloyd. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> Here we go. On three now. One. Two. Big smile. Here it comes. Peace. <laughs>